Hey everybody, it's Andy Timmons, and I've been asked by my friends at AMS to share a few thoughts about music and the meaning that it has throughout our life. Um, certainly deeply personal for each of us, what it means and, and, the, and the purpose that it serves, but it seems pretty universal that it's, it's a place to experience joy, a, a place to experience sadness. Um, I can't remember a time in my life where it wasn't a source of my attention. You know, I just, my earliest memories are of uh, my older brothers in the 45 collection in the 60s, so lots of Beatles. Beatles, 60s, British Invasion, and it just kind of provided the soundtrack and the, the foundation of our lives. And more and more as, as, I, as I went through life, you know, it's for no hardship reasons, I just spent a lot of time on my own. My mother worked and my brothers and I were very different ages apart, so I spent I had a lot of time on my own. But music was always there. It was always um, my focal point. I just loved everything about it. I loved the, the look and sound of a guitar. I loved all the bands that I was into from the '60s and throughout the '70s with '70s rock and all that. And as I as I was progressing, learning how to play guitar, kind of self-taught for many years. It really became my solace in many ways. It really became um, my go-to place. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't an extrovert by any 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 means. I was a pretty shy kid, so I kind of felt like music was my safe place. It was a place where I could attempt to express what I couldn't verbalize necessarily. Um, but it, so it started to come through the guitar, and just by being able to participate, even when it was just simple chords, playing along with every picture tells a story by Rod Stewart or Peter Frampton and eventually KISS records, you know. Uh, to be able to participate in a small way in this musical experience, just it, um, it just provided such joy and such inspired such passion and to continue the, the, the journey of, of learning how to, how to be part of it. You know, it's great to be, a, uh, you know, the, the listener and the audience, but boy, to be a, to be a part of it. And that's still to this day how I feel. I, I get that same experience by listening to, to certain music, you know, be it Brian Wilson or or Foo Fighters or who, whoever, I mean, anybody uh, making great music out there, I wanna I wanna be immersed in it. But then I also want to participate. So I hope in this in this crazy time of uh, COVID nineteen that you know we we do have a bit more time on our hands, hopefully to to either e either be you know the audience and experience music in maybe a deeper way than usual. Or to even have the time now to spend furthering our uh, our passion on our instrument, or, or, or taking the time to learn an instrument maybe you've never played before, be a piano. Or I have a good friend that just just bought a little piano just because she's got time and she's at home playing. And over the phone the other day, she played a bit of uh, uh, oh, it was a Bad Finger song, you know, day after day, and she was so happy just to learn these few chords. And how beautiful that is that music can. Uh, can provide that for us, right? That 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 really deep joy. So, anyway, I hope you're coping okay. I hope you and your family are staying safe uh, and and getting through this pandemic. But to let let music be that place for you to go to, uh, you know, to experience that joy or to experience the sadness if that's what you need at that time. There's plenty of music that can help give you a place to do that. So, and as I sat down, I, uh, so many times music for me. As a songwriter, it you know having a feeling, I'll sit down and, and music will just kind of come, come, come playing through me. And this little riff, it's, it's very simple, but it's very calming. So maybe I'll call it solace. Simple three chords, but just has a melody to it.